Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is West Newton Farm console. This came out on Friday the 4th of December. This is probably being posted on the 5th on Saturday. This is by NM Modding. 383.35 megabytes it's set in Ayrshire in Scotland based on a real area but adapted for FS19 is what it says in the mod hub I'm going around this on normal economy new farmer mode as I always do for my map tools this is the map this is a nice one as well it's as a very I mean I suppose because it's based on a real place has a very natural feel to it, which is what's nice to get. Uh, on New Farmer, what do we start with? Well, we start with quite a lot. All of this stuff around here, as I often refer to as the periphery, if you get all these bits, that doesn't cost anything, but you start with it on New Farmer. On Farm Manager and Start From Scratch, you don't, but to buy all of that that's in blue is zero. Doesn't cost anything, so you can buy all that periphery. So for things like placeables and I don't know, whatever you might want to put on there, it does make life a little bit easier. So as far as actual farming land you start with on New Farmer, you start with fields 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, and you start up here with the storage yard, um, field 38, and your silo is just up there. Now... Field prices aren't too bad. They do come in pretty much in blocks of two, all of them. But again, they're not too expensive. There is a chunk of forestry just here. Again, what's that, 415,000? I'm trying to find a bit where you can see here. 415 grand. Field 70, yeah, comes with those. I was trying to find somewhere where there's a plot where you get one field on its own. I don't think you do. I'm pretty much pretty sure they all maybe field 41. Yeah, okay. So field 41 to 131 grand. So they do vary in price, and you know, and it's acceptable. Some maps you get and they're ridiculously overpriced, and some are really, really cheap. This is about average. Now we start with a cow pasture. Uh, we start with a cow barn with a field, um, chickens, and a cow pasture. But we do also have around the map horses, sheep, pigs. We've got two other, uh, well, apart from that cow pasture, we've got one other cow pasture there, and then two sheep pastures up the top as well. Now, all these are accessible, even if you don't own the land, because I went on to them to check what each of them held as well. A lot of the land is grass. We've got a lot of grassland about. This does have contracts. It has custom transport contracts. It has loads of custom stuff on than this. Um... It's got uh, custom models across pretty much all the map. All of your buildings and animal pens are in place and cannot be moved or sold. They are there. Uh, what else does it have? Custom grass, custom traffic, lighting, tree textures. The lighting also includes a darker blue to the sky and thicker clouds, I believe it said on the, on the website too. So there's a lot going on. Biogas plant is down in the southeast, right the way down here. That's about 90, 97 and a half grand, 97.489 to buy the biogas plant. And obviously you need to own it to be able to use it. There are two main cell points, which we're going to get to later on. So at the moment I'm facing north. The topography of the, of the landscape is great. It's Like I say, because it's based on a real place, it feels very real. Um, there are no hedge collisions as far as walking through and most vehicles, but generally speaking, when you have no hedge collisions, headers often will still get stuck on hedges, as will bales and pallets usually. Um, but there are no hedge collisions to speak of, but it has it's a brilliant landscape. Um, now, the other thing as well that it doesn't show on the map is a sleep trigger. It doesn't say that you have one, but you do. Where you start, there is a sleep trigger at the farmhouse just behind me here. And you get that sleep trigger there on all three um, New Farmer, Farm Manager and Start From Scratch. You have a, a trigger there no matter what. So I guess the only way to get an extra one if you wanted to have your farmhouse somewhere else would be to go into multiplayer, maybe. Now what we're going to do is just head south into the yard. All of the yards... Again, because they're, they're custom, because they're, they're custom models, 
no no one yard feels the, the same as another. They don't feel like a standard. Here's a yard plonk. There's your cows plonk. You know, it it does feel very custom. I guess we have got. I think pretty much each yard as well. We have got a workshop. So we've got a workshop here with our header trailer in. We do have a little roaring fireplace. Look. Staying warm. It's about two degrees centigrade where I am at the moment. It was snowing today as well. So that fires. Makes you feel nice and warm. We have got a few sheds here at the main farm as well with the rest of our equipment in. And we'll have a look at what we start with in just a minute. We do have a fuel point. We have water points. This is the cow barn here at the main farm at um, West Newton Farm. That's your livestock animal trigger dialogue box for buying, selling, loading or unloading. This will hold 500 cows. It's an interesting layout because we have got our mixer wagon. We've got a feed trough and water trough here. You do start with a mixer wagon as well. But it's kind of split level. We go through the here, the yard sweeps down the hillside and round behind, and we've got a bit underneath the, this sort of cow shed. So you can store bales and things under it. Normally you have a hay loft, so that's an interesting way of looking at it. And when you buy um, cows here, this is where they appear. So the only thing that's a little bit odd is you feed them up here, and they're out in the field here, but they don't. There's no actual way for them to get from one to the other. To the point where I noticed, I put a few in to see how it worked. They all seem to be in this area here. I had three or four of them up against the fence here, pointing in that direction. Almost like they were trying to walk that way and kind of got stuck. I don't know if that's, you know, it could just be a, you know, I, don't, I don't know what's causing it, but that's, that's what I found anyway. And there was one poor cow that when I bought them was up there and actually couldn't get out, so... Not quite sure how that works. Maybe they feed by osmosis or something like that. I don't know. But as we carry on around the back of the yard, we have got our um, manure pit. No, that's the bunker silo. Hang on. I need my uh, help window on. Bunker silo is just there. And then we've got big machine shed with more stuff in here. This is a drive through one. We do start with some seed and a couple of IBCs. And then we're back into the yard where we started. I will come back and close all of those. Um, slurry is here. Some manure, I'm not too sure actually. There's not a manure a manure pit. Unless the manure drops through below maybe. Because that has got a grating there. This is an interesting one actually. Like I say, because you go around underneath and you can see the grating from underneath. So potentially, I don't know. Maybe this is where the manure actually appears. That'd be cool if it did. So, we have also got chickens here at the main farm. And if we go out, uh, let's think the best way we can go out here, we'll hop the fence to where our pickup is waiting. Our chickens are just here. This is our dialogue box of buying, um, buying and selling, not loading or unloading. There's your feed trough. Um, where the egg pallets spawn I'm not again I'm not too sure it doesn't actually there's no marked out area but what we do have around the side of this building here is where your milk comes as well so you've got your cow barn there but your actual milk is over here it's all kind of you know spread around all over the place it's certainly something a bit different so yeah that holds 500 as well that's your main farm. That's West Newton Farm. We're going to grab the pickup. We're going to head around the map and check out a few other bits and bobs as we go. I'm going to go around clockwise. There's kind of a route round, almost in a, a C shape. You can't do a complete loop round, as you'll see when we go around. But there's some nice features, some animations and bits that have been added in. Like, for example, this here. Well, the sign says, emergency telephone work being done. Sorry for an inconvenience. Little touches like that, it's very cool. Now, as far as I'm aware, I'm trying to think, NM modding, 
Is this the first map on console we've had by NM modding? I think it might be, you know. So as we're heading east, we come to the first of the cow pastures, which is here. And like I say, these are in place and these are in place on all three um, modes. That being said as well, new farmer, it's 651 slots out of 1299 have been used. On farm manager, also 651. And start from scratch, also 651. So you start with all the same equipment. The only difference you've got on each one is the amount of money you start with. And obviously on New Farmer you start with land. On the other two you don't start with any land. If you sell all the equipment you start with, you can get that down to 474 slots on console. So this is the first of the pastures. This will hold 150 cows. Actually, while we're talking about slots, we might as well... If we go to garage, what do we start with? Well, in one of the barns we just went into, we had the Valtra A114, we had the TX175, uh, TX T6175 New Holland was on the um, feed mixing wagon. We've got a New Holland TX32, the pickup I'm in. We've got a header for the TX32. We've got um, cedar, seed tender holder. Fertiliser herbicide sprayer, we've got mower, windrower, baler, feed mixer wagon, water wagon, uh, animal transport, we've got some front loader attachments and a header trailer. Let's say we don't start with any buildings, they're all in place, they're just there anyway regardless and so you can't sell them either. And there are no mods either, often you find map makers will put modded buildings in silos, barns, that kind of stuff. There's nothing like that available for you to place. It's all the standard in-game things you start with. So what I'm going to do is from here, we're going to head south. You get a feel for the countryside, the layout, the textures. The lighting is brilliant. It does say custom lighting. And like I said, with the bluer sky, thicker clouds. I haven't noticed, as I have done on some maps recently, where you've got a lot of really dark shade everywhere. I haven't noticed that on this one at all. So as we come down the hill to here, we are now, let's go out to the map, let's just look on that way. So, we've started here at the main farm. We've gone out there to the cow pasture, we've come down the hill here, we're now at the horse paddock. Buying, selling, loading or unloading of horses is done here. It is just up the side and you've got your feed trough and water trough around here. This will hold eight horses and runs just up the side. And we've also got a bit of a yard. Let's say each of the animal things has got a yard with it as well. I don't think these open. I did try that one earlier, but it didn't seem to want to open. No. Slightly rusted doors there. But barns and shelters... Workshop trigger, like I said, I think each of the farms has got a workshop trigger, which is quite handy as well. And we've got a fuel point as well. So that's the horses, should you wish to do them. Now it doesn't actually say in the mod hub if it's seasons ready or not. And like I say, whenever I say that, because it doesn't say it in the mod hub, it may well work with seasons, it may be seasons ready, all I, I can't say it definitely is because it doesn't say that it definitely is. It may well be, but I, I, I'm not going to put my neck out and say that because I could be wrong. Now, when we get to the split here, we could go down and across the map, but we need to go down into the southeast corner. So I'm going to carry you straight on down the hill. We have got a band of forestry that kind of, or, or say forestry woodland that runs across some of these, those really awkward shaped trees that you can't cut down with. Like scorpion kings and things like that. There are going to be some parts of this where we're uh, doing quite a bit of driving because it is spaced out, but spaced out really well. We've got an Excel point just here, and this is, I want to say, I think it's Loudoun, but it could be Loudoun. So we come down from the horses. Now I would say Loudoun, but it's probably, could be Loudoun. I'm not Scottish, and I'm, if I pronounce it wrong, I apologise. I'm going to say Loudoun, but Loudoun Lodge is an egg cell point. We're going to carry on down there, and there's a, a bridge just over the little river there. We're going to cross over and head down to Woodhead Cottage, which is also an egg cell point, but there's also a sheep farm there. I 
I know for some people they don't like it when a map has all the animal pens fixed in place. They prefer to be able to sell them or move them around. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of... I, I err on both, really. Some maps, it can be really handy and helpful. I've played on plenty of maps where they're all fixed in place and had an absolutely brilliant time playing on them. I, you know, some of my favourite Let's Plays have been on maps where the farms and buildings and pens can't be moved. It just, I suppose it depends what you're looking for from a map. I know for some people they won't like this style of map anyway because it's sort of tight, enclosed. There are a lot of fences. Like I said, the hedges don't have a collision, but the fences do, and some of the fields do have fencing around them. Now this is, I want to get it right, Woodhead Cottage is just up the road. This is Birchhead Farm, I think it is. Now, if we open the gate at Birchhead Farm, again, completely different yard, or different style of yard. Of course, it's a different yard, but a different look. Plenty of building a barn space. If we go through here, we've got our sheep pasture, or sheep pen. This is the main one the main sheep farm this will hold 500 i think it was at birchhead yep this is 500 sheep as well in this one and our water trough is there and the feed trough i think is around the corner here there we go just in there our wool pallet spawn point is just here around behind the barn and again more building space i think it's got a workshop as well is that in this one I just want to set a workshop. Maybe it's over here. Again, I don't want to stick my neck out and say they've all got them and they have it. There you go. I knew there was a workshop somewhere. So workshop tucked away there. There are plenty of farm options to choose from if you don't want to start the main one. And there's a sign for that one. Birchhead Farm. So like I said, that's the first of the... I mean, that's the sheep farm. The other two are... Well, I suppose you could class the others as farms. Although it does say they are pastures, but... They hold the same amount, but we'll get around to those later on. Continue on from here, just around to the left here, we've got Woodhead Cottage. Woodhead Cottage is another cell point for, well, that's another cell point, it's another egg cell point, just there. Carrying on down, right into the southeast, we're heading down towards the biogas plant. And then we'll start heading west across the map. But there's a really cool feature coming up that I, it sort of surprised me actually when I first saw it. Oh, you know, I thought it was a campsite. You'll see it in a minute. But so here's our biogas plant, a nice, easily tip inable cell point. It's always nice when you can back trailers in. You haven't got to worry about conveyor belts or wheel loaders and things like that. Your digestate tank, so your byproduct you collect from here, and two fairly large bunker silos silage clamps for fermenting your silage like so that's 97 and a half thousand is it so i think it was 97 400 and something wasn't it as we come down the hill what looks like a campsite just over there i thought oh that's nice nice touch campsite it's not a campsite it's a farm show <laughs> it's, it's brilliant Again, great feature on the map. I will say it wrong again, but Laudun. It's the Laudun show. And you come in and we've got the John Deere bit. We've got a Fent bit just here. Got the class stall there. Cramp over on the side here. We've got Amazon. Lemkin. But it's that... It doesn't necessarily serve a purpose, but it adds to the map. And I think as well, for a Let's Play or a storyline, some kind of narrative, having that on there is is a real nice addition. Because if you were going to run something like that and do something, you'd have to set the whole thing up yourself with machinery and equipment and all that kind of thing. It just adds another element that if you are going to do a storyline, it's already there. It just, it just adds a bit of narrative to it. Right. As we continue on, we are coming to the first of the main cell points. So this is Ayrshire Dairy, which is just there. And this, just click on there, is the Ayrshire, Ayrshire's Finest Grains. So that's this cell point just here. 
So that's one of your two main sell points. When I say main sell points, it's the ones that you sell most of your crops, your cereal crops and all those kind of things. We do have some barns, and there are three barns on this map. We'll go, so we come down past Woodhead Cottage, down to the biogas plant, past the, the um, show that's just here. So we're now here. If we zoom out, we have got up the top, we've got here, abandoned farm barn, we've got storage yard barn, and we've got Alton Burn farm barn. Each one of those, if we scroll across, is a barn sell point. So you can sell your bales and stuff at those, so each one of those. But your main sell points, like you know, I often say, for your cereal crops as we go across, it won't do everything, so you can't do cotton and that's where your spinnery is, but it's a main sell point, you know what I mean. Just in case anyone's new to this, new to the game, or new to one of my map tours. So, following the main road up. Got what looks like a kind of new new build estate just to the left. I'm going to overtake the traffic here. But I will slow down when we come into the town, don't worry. So, into the town itself, we have got a cash point on the left. Church. And then we're coming up on to more cell points. So the second main cell point is just on the right here. And it just, it's on the, uh, the map as shop. So that's the second one. So we've got Ayrshire's finest grains, and then we've got the shop one. Those are the two main cell points. Then next door we've got the sawmill, I think it is, isn't it? If we go through the back here. We've got the sawmill cell point. So lumber just here and wood chip just over there behind it. Then we come across the back of here and we're onto the main shop. So this is your main machinery store. Inside here we do have a workshop trigger. So for um, selling, repairing, customising. The only thing I will so say though is that's a fairly small entrance into there. So larger machinery you're not going to be able to bring it here to do work on it, I wouldn't have thought. But that's where it is at the store. If you buy anything, it puts it here. I've just remembered what I forgot to do. Let's just open the map. I'll just go to the yard and pick something, doesn't matter what. Just reset a vehicle. Ah, well that's interesting because it didn't reset here. I always, well, I usually, before I do my tour, will do a reset check just to see where vehicles reset to. The reset point is actually up here at the main farm. Just to the west of the main farmyard in field three. And it wasn't here. So when you buy something, it will spawn here. So I'm assuming then the reset's probably up at the, up at the yard. I'll have to check that. You can go into the store if you want to. You can go up to the counter to do your buying and selling, but obviously you can do it from your main menu just by pressing your main paddle on your controller. So, from here, we're going to go out and carry on west. But before we do, we're going to avoid the speed cameras. They don't work on console. I did go through them at a fair pace just to see what would happen. I know you need to have custom scripts for those to work, but they are there. There's some speed cameras as you come in. But we're going to head just up here around to the pig farm. It's a bit of a route round. When we leave the pig farm, we are going to cut across through the woods, but just thought I would come up the way you're supposed to. Now, when I came down the main road from the horses, and I said the road forked and I wasn't going to go that way, this is where that road comes to. So if you take that fork in the road, it actually brings you down here. what we'll do is head round to the pig farm which is I want to say Blackthorn Blackthorn farm I think it is again I blame my terrible handwriting I did jot it down I can't read my own writing yes Blackthorn farm look 
So Blackthorn, Blackthorn Farm is the pig farm. Another yard with more workshop space. Now that you're, you're going to get bigger machinery in there. So I guess if you needed to, you could take your machinery elsewhere to get it fixed. Again, with a bit of a narrative, if you want to go down that route. Slurry point, manure point just here. And the pigs are here with their feed trough and water trough. Where the bedding goes... Again, I'm not too sure. That's not clearly marked. It might just be inside at one of the other triggers. Or just blow it in with a straw blower, potentially. But there's your trigger for buying, selling, loading or unloading of pigs. And here at Blackthorn Farm, it will also take 500. So apart from the cow pasture, the chickens, cows, sheep at Birchhead and the pigs here are all 500 at the moment. So from here, actually, I did want to check something, just in case. I did wonder whether or not, no, whether each of the farms had a sleep trigger. Um, I don't think they do. I think it's just the one up at the main farm. So I'm going to cut across the grass here and through the trees because I need to get down the hill. Otherwise, it means driving all back around the way we just came. I probably could have done with... Let's go that way. Oh, just noticed that. Got some floating trees Typical, the one way I go through, I find one. I must admit, it's not something that's ever bothered me too much, until it, unless it's in a, a forest where you're actually doing logging, and it can be a bit frustrating because then you can't cut some of the trees down. But if it's in bits that are more decorative, it's never been an issue. I've never really found it too much of a problem. Um, petrol station just down here. We are now in the southwest corner of the map. We're going to head north in a minute. At least I think we are. Where's my turd in? I've lost it. Now, the other thing I will say is that on the map... Let's just pull over a second. When we go to the PDF... PDF? PDA. Um, the roads, like when you're out of this, aren't that clearly marked. You have to zoom in quite a bit. And even when you do that, they are more track-like. Even the main roads here up from the dairy is not very clear on the map. I mean, you can, you can work it out, but like I say. So the turning I want is here. But it's not that easy to spot when you look at the PDA. PDF, what were we thinking of? Anyway. So, we're now heading up the western side of the map. Heading north. Got a bit of a drive to go up here. I think we're coming up on, if I remember correctly, the livestock market and the spinnery, I want to say. The forest entrance to the, the forestry area is just to the right there. Yeah, wool sell point. Just turn down here. So if you want to um, come and collect your animals yourself with, with the trailer rather than buy them directly, Livestock market is just to the left. I think the trigger was... Where was it? Over here. So there's your trigger for livestock. I think it was just the one trigger for all of them. Yeah. And then across the way, we've got our spinnery sell point. Just up here. So continuing on from here, we've got another cow pasture. We've got... Oh, I meant to bring a trailer up. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's okay. I'm pretty sure... This could be a gamble saying that. That the silo is a standard silo. I don't think it's a multi-fruit one. But again, I could be wrong. I meant to check that. So, carrying up the lane, we should come to. Let's 
I'm starting to wonder if I've come the wrong way now. No, I'm sure I haven't. Ah, this I'm sure this is the abandoned farm barn. This one. So you could use it if you wanted to. It is abandoned, but in here we've got a barn sale points. So that's for your bales, silage bales and whatnot. Can be sold here. I think that's all there is here. There's not. That's another thing as well. Look at the map. There's not a lime. I haven't come across a lime buy point anywhere. There's a few fuel points. Yeah, we're at the abandoned farm barn. No, I don't think there is. That might be something that needs to be placed then, maybe. Because though there's a few of those silos about, but they're not actual buy points, as far as I can tell. Heading on from here. So we've got the second of the cow pastures coming up. That also holds 150. So the main cow pasture, cow barn, cow pasture is 500, but the two cow pastures are 150. And there. Now, where do I need to turn? Yes. If I carry straight on ahead, that takes me back up the lane to the main farm where we started. I want to go this way. So that, in essence, is the loop round. This is the bit where you come out, and this will, this will eventually come to a dead end. You'd have to come back along this road. There's not a direct access back across to the main farm. I've just gone past it, haven't I? Too busy talking. So on my left here is the other cow pasture. Now again, the dialogue box comes up, so I don't I don't need to own it. If I just click a couple on those and click confirm, I've put them. Oh, they're in here somewhere. There. So my cows are in here, and I don't own this land. Oh, you bet. This is the one I do own. No, it's not, is it? It's that one up there I own. Um, yeah, so some maps you have to own the land first before it lets you do anything with animals. Some maps you have to own the land before the triggers will even appear. This one doesn't seem to be the case. So now we come up to the storage yard, which we do own, and field 38. The storage yard also has a barn sale point. And this is where the farm silo is. So the farm silo isn't actually at the main farm, it's here, up at this storage yard. What I'm going to do, off camera, when I finish recording this, I will check with the trailer. And if this is a standard silo, you'll get a thumbs up on the screen now. If it's a multi-fruit, there'll be two thumbs up. I think it's probably about the best way I can do that. So there's your silo. Putting into it, taking out of it. More barn space. And there's your barn cell point here for the storage yard, which leaves us with just one. There's another barn cell point, but then we've got two sheep pastures at the same place. One to the left, one to the right, one east, one west. Both of them hold 500. So we're going to take a sharp left. Just here. And this is Alton Burn Farm, I think it is. We'll check the sign first. Pretty sure it's Alton Burn Farm. There you go. Alton Burn Farm. More shelter and barn space with a workshop. The first of the pastures is here. This is the wall spawn point just there. So the first one here to the west will hold 500 sheep. And the I think the feed troughs they're next to each other here. Yeah, feed trough and water trough just there. And if we carry on going east, through the yard, past the farmhouse. More shelter and barn space. 
that's the barn cell point here at Alton Burn Farm and then you've got the next dialogue box there so you can put another 500 in here with the troughs being where are the troughs for this one that's weird I thought they were by the fence oh no I knew one of them was up the back somewhere well that's the water one someone's nicked the feed trough for the where is it that's odd there must be one oh maybe there's not that's a bit of an issue oh hidden in the grass there you go there's the feed trough here so that in essence is it that's the map we've done we've been around the whole thing we're now up here at Alton Burn Farm and Alton Burn Farm Barn the two sheep pastures are there now this road continues on but then stops here and opens out into the fields so to get back around to the main farm we have to come back down this lane to that junction there and then back along to the farm so whilst the rest of it is a loop around that bit is kind of out on its own somewhat but yeah i mean it's, it's a really nice map like i say if it's i don't know if it's the first map that nm modding has made but it's the first one we've had on console and i like it i think it's great loads of areas for doing livestock work plenty of fields loads of grass fields the lighting i think is brilliant i haven't had a problem at all with shade anywhere on this so um yeah that's it i think i could well i'm going to head back around towards the main farm now anyway but i uh, hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching